Welcome back to the Catch Up Friends. A new trailer for The Mandalorian is here, and with just a couple short weeks to go before the first ever live action Star Wars series comes our way, let's talk about everything we can expect from the show right now. What a time to be alive. The new trailer features fresh visuals like new space beasts and spaceship fights that his fans like Michelle on Facebook saying way more excited for this than the next movie. Definitely have seen a lot of comments like this, and with even more footage of The Mandalorian in action, one person on Twitter called him the Jason Bourne of Star Wars. Nice. Would you agree? The last time we saw Star Wars live action TV was 1985's TV movie Ewoks Battle for Endor, starring Wilford Brimley. The Mandalorian, created by Jon Favreau, will change all of that when Disney Plus launches on November 12th. And according to reports, only the first of eight episodes will drop on the 12th, so expect more of a weekly release schedule as opposed to the Netflix binge model. In other words, the force is with us because you're gonna get some sleep. But bounty hunting is a complicated profession. The series takes place five years after the events of the 1983 certified fresh classic Return of the Jedi in a part of the galaxy struggling from the economic downfall of the Galactic Civil War. And based on what we've seen so far, the show will have a look and feel very much like the OG trilogy. Except this time it'll have 20 times the budget. A 26 minute preview that was shown to press recently revealed that the Mandalorian is offered an unorthodox bounty backed by an Imperial remnant which would presumably set him on a new course. Afterwards, Collider Steven Weintraub, aka Frosty, tweeted, This is a Star Wars thing I've been waiting for and it's as awesome as you want it to be. Plus, it's being reported that The Mandalorian contains a major Star Wars spoiler in the first episode, whatever that means. I mean, is it possible Darth Vader survived? The show stars Pedro Pascal as the yet-to-be-named Mandalorian, and while he looks an awful lot like the bounty hunter Boba Fett, Pascal has described his character as more of an anti-hero than an outright villain, like the fan-favorite Boba. Remember when he was supposed to get his own movie? He's no good to me, dead. And as seen in these cool new character posters, the cast also includes Gina Carano as a former rebel shock trooper named Cara Dune, Carl Weathers as Grief Marta, the leader of a bounty hunting guild, and Taika Waititi, who will not only direct episodes, but also voice an assassin droid sidekick named IG-11, and apparently has the same amount of hours in a day as Beyonce. Plus, John Carlos Esposito is playing an imperial warlord named Moff Gideon, who is clinging to power after the collapse of the Empire. So basically, Gus Bring in imperial clothing without fried chicken. I have an offer that I think would be of interest to you. Other recognizable names who have been cast include Nick Nolte, Bill Burr, yep, the comedian, and Werner Herzog. And it's Herzog's narration that pretty much carries us through the new trailer. That is until we finally get to hear Pascal's Mandalorian speak for the first time. Yeah. Good. It's like that excitement you get when a baby speaks his first words, you know? And to help meld this strong cast with the big budget visuals already on display, Favreau has assembled an all-star group of directors which, along with Watiti, includes Bryce Dallas Howard, Dope's Rick Famuyiwa, Deborah Chow from Jessica Jones, and Dave Filoni, who has worked on multiple Star Wars animated series and will also executive produce with Favreau. Get down! All right, friends, it's time for me to kick it over to you. Are you excited for The Mandalorian? Enough to spend seven bucks a month for Disney Plus? Let us know all your thoughts in the comments section. And for more on all things Star Wars, head on over to RottenTomatoes.com. And good news, our first book, Rotten Movies We Love, is out right now. It celebrates 101 movies that are coming in green, but definitely worth checking out. As always, thanks for watching The Catch Up. If you like this episode and you want to see more, hit that subscribe button and click that bell icon. I'm Nas Perez, and I'll see you next time.